and your bug will pop up, and now you gotta go the other way. So we found that elite athletes who were cleared to play their sport by current standards uh, were nevertheless impaired when we looked at if they were able to think and move at the same time rather than thinking and moving separately. And this has implications for safer return to play in that right now we may be sending them back when they're still vulnerable to further injury. So we had these findings and they were really important that people who were seen to be recovered from concussion in fact weren't. So we, it was really important for us to try to get this into a version that was commercialized out there and user friendly. And so we really needed uh, Innovation New York and ultimately Mars Innovation as well to get it into a format that could be something other than what we use in the lab. It was really important for me to be able to reach out to Innovation New York and ultimately Mars Innovation to get this commercialized because as scientists we are not at all remotely trained in anything to do with commercialization, marketing, interacting with people often, we like to sit in our labs, so uh, having that resource to be able to get out there, like it would not have gotten out of the ground. I'd still be sitting in my lab and, and publishing in papers rather than having you know, an app that's actually sitting on a phone now and out there. We have great clinicians, but they're asking us for better metrics. They need better tools that are objective, uh, mostly language free. They need better ways of being able to assess whether these athletes um, are, are really truly ready to get back into play. And so they really welcome these sorts of technologies.